affairs of death. <laughs> uh, just a few words on a new uh, short story from the collection by Magister Luna, Sir Kingsley Ames. Um, <laughs> so now we have an, another, yet another creative original uh, proposition. Uh, I mentioned we've been in, in, in the army with him uh, during World War War in Belgium. With Sigmund's unit, and uh, this is the time when I'm, I'm thinking of Umberto Eco, of Eche uh, and his quote, which is something like this, uh, the person who doesn't read has one life, readers have 5,000 lives, they, they live with the, with the characters from the novels, or short stories, collections, <laughs> uh, and that's um, eternity backwards. Uh, interesting, <laughs> indeed. It's, it's, it's such a such a collection of, 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 of characters, of, of strange uh, figures. Major Rayleigh, uh, Raleigh, uh, an obnoxious fellow in the court of of inquiry. He has. There's an electric scooter there, which is unlikely to be destroyed. It only navigated for what eight kilometers. <laughs> it's not yet old enough to be destroyed by a city bird. Um, so uh, the major way is putting Frank Archer on trial because he left behind an engine, but the engine doesn't function. Does it have spare parts? And furthermore. They have one available, which is which is in good order, functioning. <laughs> then we have uh, moral fiber, uh, 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 rather vile, pompous social worker Webster, and a fallen woman for Betty, who is at her peak when she's with the business girls. That's what we call today sex workers. I mean, sex with sailors. Uh, science fiction, Hemingway, <laughs> Hemingway in space, uh, simulacrum, an ersatz hunt, uh, extracted somehow from the short stories of Hemingway, or from his life, as I said, he was a big game hunter and a fan of Corrida. There you go. Uh, and projected this <laughs> hunt in space for Sib or something like that, creature, biggest thing in that corner of the galaxy. Presumably a replica of elephants, uh, poor animals killed by those <coughs> savages. <coughs> um, and <laughs> detective story, uh, war story with with the island and the Tana. What was that? Tana Topilia. Ta, uh, those who have an erotic uh, attraction to monsters. And um, this time we're talking Leo the Ninth and Macbeth. Macbeth meets Leo the Ninth. And um, they talk about Scotland. He explains that the killing of Duncan it was more of an execution for Scotland than it was a mere uh, murder, a dirty killing, something. And then we find that this Leo the Ninth was in fact important. He is the one responsible, at least in large part, for the big schism, the separation of Catholic Church, Western Church, if you will, at the time, you know, and the Eastern one, which has us in our, in her arms. I'm sorry, no, no not me, I mean, I'm not. <clears throat> and blasphemous atheist. <laughs> 